300 this year. I've never found something that's connected with me this deeply and put in and put in this much work for something that connected this and had and been this inspired. Like I go back and forth and I joke with the energy, but I've never put in this much work about this deeper connection in my life. And I really do want to keep going with it and keep pushing it and keep seeing where I can take it because it makes me feel like I can take on the world. Like with the energy flowing through me, I don't feel like it ain't nothing I can't confront because the things that used to hold me back, I feel like I've overtaken them. All the hesitations and stuff I used to have with my spiritual strength backing me up, I don't feel like it ain't nothing I can't confront. It ain't nothing I can't take over. It ain't nothing I can't do or say when it comes to my spiritual gift. And I'm a passionate person anyway, so it just fit naturally. And it feel like I had an extra strength with me, and it's always going to be with me. And I'm always going to feel it flowing through me as strong as I want it. So I feel like it ain't nothing I can't bring up. It ain't nothing I can't deal with when it comes to my gift. And I just want to stay locked into it and see how far I can go with it, see what else, what other potential things in life I have to confront and overtake. Because with this spiritual strength, it's the most amazing strength I've ever felt flowing through me. And I feel like with it flowing through me, ain't nothing I can't say, ain't nothing I can't survive, ain't nothing I can't go through and confront because I had to confront everything to get this power. I had to go into the things I fear to get this power, and I overcame them. So I don't feel like there's no human being or nothing that really can stop me from overcoming or doing what I have to do when it comes to my spiritual gift. Again, I've never been this deep and this spiritually connected, and it feels great because I feel like I can do anything right now. Honestly, that's my energy. That's my vibe. That's my fact. That's my swagger when I feel this spiritual gift. I joke about my energy, but I'm not joking about that part. I don't, I don't feel like there's nothing in the world that can stop me, break me down, or ever make me quit again. Because I feel like when I was going through the journey, everything that would have made me quit, I made it through. Everything that would have made me stop, I made it through. Everything that would have made me hesitate or anything, I've already made it through and dealt with and came to peace with. So I don't feel like there's nothing out there in life that can ever stop me from being on this spiritual journey but me. And I'm never going to stop myself. I'm just going to lock in and focus and keep answering the challenges and keep growing even spiritually stronger, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion from my great spiritual process and what Spirit told me to talk about today. Honestly, I feel fearless. I don't feel like there's nothing I can't confront, bring up, or do. I used to be nervous about certain things, but I'm not nervous about nothing right now. I'm just in a good flow. I feel like it ain't nothing I can't say. It ain't nothing I can't do. It ain't nothing I can't confront. And I just feel the power and confidence flowing through me. I don't want no problem with nobody. I just want to chill, do my job, do what I got to do and chill out. But I don't feel like it ain't nothing I can't confront and nothing I can't bring up. I just feel stronger and more confident than ever in my spiritual journey. I feel like everything that would have made me hesitate or everything that would have made me pull my power back, I've made it through and confronted. So I don't feel like nothing can stop me. So I feel like I'm on a road that's finally been to unlock the life that I've always wanted to have but I was too afraid to go into to do the work. Now I feel like I've done the work to unlock the life, so it's only a matter of time until I unlock it. I feel like I've answered all the bad things in my life that held me back from getting there, and now I'm about to get there, and I'm nervous about it because it's a new life, but I'm also ready for it and excited for my new life and excited for my new potential, and I'm ready to reach it. I'm tired of a life of struggle. I'm tired of a life of always fighting through turmoil, always fighting through something negative, always knowing that you got to fight through something negative every single day, every single time. 
a negative situation coming in your life and you always have to fight through. I just want to live good, be good, family be good, everything be paid off and everybody be living good and be comfortable in their life. It's like after you fought for so long, I ain't going to say you get tired of fighting, but you just want to live in peace and be happy. And that's what I'm trying to attain, my own peace and my own happiness. And I'm so close to it. I'm so close. I'm basically right there. I just got to finish the work I got to do. And I'm about to do it, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion, though, from my personal spiritual belief. And don't don't give up. Keep fighting. You will get there, too, I promise. If I can feel it for myself, I know you guys can feel it. Just stay locked in. Stay answering your challenges. Stay excited about your challenges. And stay looking forward to your challenges. And don't play with your energy so much. Go after what you know you won't lock in. And you have the strength to do it. Your spirit guides have backed you. You've answered for everything. You've upheld everything up to this point. Keep going. You're going to get there, in my opinion. It's what Spirit told me to talk about today. I just got the message not even a couple of minutes ago, and I wanted to relay it to you guys. I don't know who needs to hear it, but keep going. We're going to make it, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion, though, from my personal spiritual belief. And I ain't putting in this much spiritual work, advancing this much, going this high, going this hard, getting this locked in, not to make it. And I know I'm not the only one. So just continue to lock in, continue to be serious, continue to be focused, and you will make it. The deeper your spiritual focus is, the more you will, the more likely you are to make your dream and make your achievements possible. The more you attend to let your spiritual focus wane off and focus on other things, the more susceptible you are to spiritual damages. You have to stay spiritually focused, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion from my personal spiritual belief, though, and what I noticed on my spiritual journey. When I listen to my meditation videos every week, my meditation tends to keep me spiritually higher and more spiritually focused. Tends to when I don't and I listen to other things, it's easier for those negative spirits to get in. So it's just about staying up on your spiritual focus, staying up on your spiritual meditation, and staying prayed up, staying in that connection. That is what drives me, and that is what drives you. But you have to stay consistent in the practice. That's all I'm saying, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion, though, from my personal spiritual experience and my personal spiritual process. Staying consistent in the spiritual practices, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion, though, from my personal spiritual experience.